So you definitely want to know the things that you're going to need for the class. Um, you need a textbook. You need a textbook. Sometimes students think that they can get away with not having a textbook, and I absolutely do not recommend that at all. I have a, an approach. Most of the time, my approach probably will work for you. The way that I explain things most of the time will work for you. But there will be times where I use some analogy that does not hit your uh, synapses, and you're like, dude, what is she talking about? <laughs> and in those circumstances, you need to have a book that you can go to. You need to have a, a good quality resource to uh, confer with. So you have two options. The official textbook is um, D. Silverthorne's Integrated Approach to Human Physiology. It's a phenomenal text. I love it. It's just human physiology, so there's, I mean, there's enough anatomy in it to support the physio, uh, but it's, it's, I love the integrated approach. I love that it ties systems, it um, ties concepts across systems so that you can appreciate the fact that uh, body systems do not function in a vacuum by themselves. Uh, body systems function integratively, which is awesome. So it's a great textbook. However, and any edition of it will work. You are welcome to use the OpenStax Anatomy and Physiology text. The downside of this text, now the OpenStax textbook is free. You can get it online for free. You can get a relatively inexpensive copy uh, in the bookstore. The downside of the OpenStax text is that it is anatomy and physiology. So you have to sort out the pieces that are focused on anatomy, and sometimes that can become an overwhelming task. Uh, I do have, um, I don't know, probably 20 Silverthorne textbooks in the library. They're older editions, and they're available for semester checkout. So you're welcome to go check them out and use them for the semester. First come, first serve, so if you don't get over there, sorry for your luck, doggy. Okay, so make sure you have a text. Um, we're going to use clickers in class, and the clicker system this semester is going to be a little bit different. Not entirely happy about it, but you have to buy a license for the clicker. Uh, in the past, I've been able to offer uh, free clicker borrows, whatever, and this semester I can still let you borrow a clicker, but you have to purchase a license no matter what. And that hurts my heart, but it's 21 bucks. It's 21 bucks if you go online and get it through clicker company. And I have no idea how much it's going to be through our bookstore, but no matter what, you can, um, you need to purchase that license. That said, it's good for a year, so you might be able to sell it back to a future physio student for them to use in the next semester. I don't know, whatever. We can work through things like that. You can use your smartphone as your clicker. You can also use a clicker. So if you have one from a previous class, you can totally use it instead of a smartphone. I can't wait to find out how it goes. So uh, if you have any concerns about it, let me know. Because we have textbooks available to borrow and any edition is fine, I feel like the cost of the course materials is low enough that, um, that the $20 for the clicker license, even though it makes me angry, uh, it, it isn't hopefully going to break your bank. So it's required. Okay. I have a copy packet. It includes lecture notes and lab handouts, and it is available in the bookstore, and it's also free in Canvas, so you do not have to purchase it in the bookstore unless you want to. You probably are going to want a printed version to bring to class, um, but you decide. Like, do whatever you want to do. You're not turning any of that stuff in to me, so it's all for you anyway. You're going to need two three-ring binders. One of them is for your external brain, which I'm going to talk about in the next one after the next one. So I'm going to talk about the external brain, so I'm not going to talk about it here. Um, you're also going to need a binder, 
probably smaller than the um, external brain binder for your integration project portfolio. And I'm going to talk about that in its own entire, like, section. So I'm not going to talk about that anymore either. All right. What do you think? That's it, your materials. Holler at me if you have questions about your materials. I want to look at our schedule really fast because that's another place where you might be like, oh, God, really? I have to do all that stuff every day? And the answer is yes, you do. So I'll be right back to um, watch you. No, I, I can't see you. Wouldn't that be cool if I could? No, I don't want to. Never mind. I take that back. But I will be right back.